Hey guys, and welcome to my preview of the Corcoran Dark Shaman. Now this is the seventh boss in the Siege of Orgrimmar, and it's against two shamans called Haram and Cardis. And they have a shared health pool and two dogs, although the dogs from what I've seen in all the different videos have got like, they're, they're pretty much pointless, they don't really do much. They just have 12 million HP and you can both down. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to talk about the general abilities and then the totems, which are what makes the fight interesting. And then Bloodlust. So, let's get at it. The first one is Froststorm Strike. This is for general abilities. It does 200k damage to the target and causes the target to take 100% additional damage from Frost attacks. And it's done by Haram. Now, this is um, this is going to be your tank swap mechanic. What it gets scary with is the next ability. Um, it's called Froststorm Bolt. It's cast by Cardus and it does 600k damage. So, if you have... Um, if you have the... Yeah, Frost Storm Strike on you, and then you take six six hundred k damage, plus an additional one hundred percent. That's one point two million damage. So the two of those are definitely going to be something tanks need to be very sure of, and also they need to be sure to keep aggro on um, on Cardus, or else Frost Storm Bolt will go on a healer or go on a DPS and just one shot them. Which would be shit. So the next thing is totems. Now totems are the main mechanic of this fight, and they're placed at eighty or ninety percent, eighty percent, and seventy percent. Now, other than the totems, the bosses don't do much apart from the general abilities. So the first one's called Poison Mist Totem. Now this um, gives the bosses an ability each. Haram gets Toxic Mist. This debuffs players with um, this debuffs two players at a time and does uh, 120k damage every three seconds for 30 seconds. Now the um, the uh, problematic part of this is that it applies stacks of toxicity, which increase nature damage taken by 10%, so uh, most of the damage in the fight is nature. So you need to be really careful with um, avoiding the avoidable nature damage, or else in combination with, what, with whatever stacks of this you have, you'll be taking a lot of damage and you could just die. Now, the um, next ability is called Toxic Storm. This is given to Cardus, and he makes a big storm cloud that does 200k damage per second, to everyone inside it. Now it also summons these toxic tornadoes which um, do 200k damage and knock you up in the air. That's every one second and the tornadoes seem to spin around the place in groups so you know be on the ball make sure you don't hit them it's a little bit like the um, I think the second second or thir third part of Iron Quan with all the tornadoes flying around you don't want to hit them. So the next one is called Foul Stream Totem. The first ability is called Foul Stream. It's given to Harom. It focuses on one player and puts like a big, big line in the floor uh, from from Harom's location to the player. And if you're inside this, you are dealt 300k damage, which is really painful. So you don't want to stand in that. And the next one's called Foul Geezer. So this is given to Cardus, and he makes a big geezer which does 300k nature damage to players in it. And it spews out all this green liquid. Now, if the green liquid lands on you, um, uh, you'll take you'll take damage and the green liquid it seems to fall in a similar way to the water spout on proboscis in the brawler's guild So yes, don't be hit by the green liquid, but there's more the green liquid also spawns an ad when it hits now These ads will do 100 100k nature damage to players within three yards every one second So probably what you want to do is use like stuff like hunter misdirect gather them all up and just aoe them down if you're just a regular player though, you know, if you stand near, I don't know, five of these, you're dead. So, don't do that. Now, the next thing's called Ashfire Totem. This is the last one. It seems a little bit easier. The first thing he does is called Ashen Wall. It's given to Harom. It uh, summons a big wall of ash elementals, and all you need to do is just not stand in their way. It actually reminded me a little bit of uh, the, the fight in Mogishan Volts, where one of the guys would summon his guards, and they'd walk across the floor in a line. I think it was called flanking maneuvers or something. So that's what it reminds me of a little bit. Now the next one is the one that will kill you. It's called Falling Ash, and it's given to Cardus. It puts this giant big red circle on the floor. If you're in the circle, you take 200k damage, so that's pretty regular. But the thing is that there's a giant uh, freaking do thing, um, also known as a meteor. Now this meteor lands in the circle, and if you're in the circle when the meteor hits, you're dead. And you don't want to be dead, so don't stand in it. And that's really the fight. Um, apart from bloodlust, once they hit 30%, they do bloodlust, which increases the damage dealt by 30% and their haste by 30. That includes all of their abilities as well. So it's basically the same fight, but harder and faster. So there you go, that's, um, that's a little look at the fight. It's, um, hmm interesting a lot of damage is going out it seems like this is going to catch unprepared or uh, i suppose unskilled in terms of you know awareness and that sort of thing it's going to cause those players lots of trouble so you need to really be on the ball 
But um, yeah, it seems like quite an interesting fight. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, please like if you like and subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you next time. Bye.